Okay, last but not least, our letterhead. A letterhead is what you type in the bulk of the body of a letter, but has all of your information on your letterhead. So this is how we're going to set this up. We're gonna keep it simple, but we're gonna keep all this information. So what I'm going to do is instead of create a new page, let's do the exact same thing we did before. We want to keep all this information so I could always command or control A to select all like so and everything's selected. I could select this object and hold shift in order to select more than one object at a time. And then I could control or command C to copy create a new page, a new document, make it a, a letter size page and paste it in and then work from it from there. But since we're already here, all we're going to do is make sure we don't have anything selected with our selection tool. We just click anywhere outside of our objects on the page and we click document setup. We're going to choose this button here called edit artboards. And at the top of your screen, let's set that back to 8.5 by 11. Now be careful not to choose the X and the Y. That's where things are placed on your page. You wanna make sure you have width, 8.5, and height, 11. Okay, and just hit enter or return on a Mac. And command or control minus to zoom out. There we go, there's our information. So I'm gonna click on the black arrow and I'm going to move this up here. I want my name to be the most prominent thing on the page, but I also need to separate graphic design instructor to leave it up here under this package as I move all the other information below. So how am I going to do that? I'm gonna use a text tool. I'm gonna to highlight that text in there, Control or Command plus to zoom in. So I'm going to highlight that text and I'm going to control or command C to copy it or control or command X to both copy and delete it. And now I'm going to come up here and I'm simply going to click. First I had that had to deselect, so I'm going to click. There we go. There's the default text um, for placement and command or control V to paste. Excellent. So now with the selection tool, I'm just going to move that into place. Okay, now we're starting to see some of these nice, they're helpful hint lines here. They're called smart guides. So it's telling me I'm centered. Great. So I'm going to move that and leave that up there. Then I'm going to click anywhere outside of that object to deselect it. So I can move this package to the bottom. There we go. So if I click on that and I move it and I'm careful and I'm being patient, it will show me where the center of my page is. So I'm going to drop it right about there. Remember to leave space so you don't have your stuff way too close to the edge of the paper. So I could leave it like that. See, it's nicely centered like so. And that would be it. I could uh, make this slightly bigger if I really wanted to. Remember that I didn't click and drag a box for this one. So that means if I select this object and shift click to select both objects, I can grab a corner anchor point and hold shift. And I can make them both bigger at the same time. Plus, I'm not just extending and making the box, the text box, it's sitting in bigger, leaving these to be the same size they were. What I'm doing is I had clicked and clicked and typed or clicked and pasted. So it's on an independent line. It's not inside a text box. And so I can now enlarge those in that way. There we go. We're centered. And that's a little bit better. And I still have a visual connection despite the enormous amount of space between my name and my phone number. What I want you to do is contact me. And that's it. File, save as. Remember to save as. Don't just save or you're saving over top of your business card. And now you have a letter 
in a letter size page instead of your business card. So now we need to call this letterhead. And it's a draft because we will be updating our logo over the course of the semester. And save. Yes, I want to say yes to this. This is just default. And there we go. And that is it. If you want to challenge yourself, I'm going to separate these using the text tool. Remember, new text box. That box there indicates that I would so click and make a new text box. That's not good. We want to make sure we're hovering so the box disappears. There we go. Now I can select this copy. So I'm going to do Control or Command C to copy it. Hit the delete key to get rid of that information. I gotta get rid of that space by double clicking it as well. I'm gonna select all this text and in my character character palette, you'll see what I'm doing in a minute. And that's a text box. So with my selection tool, I'm just gonna put that there. And guess what I'm going to do now? I made a copy a little while ago. Don't worry, it's still in there. I'm going to click and drag another box. And Command or Control V to paste. Select all of that text. And align right. I'm going to make that box a little smaller. And move it here. Now they're too close, so I'm going to click on this. And using my arrow keys on the bottom right hand corner of my keyboard, I'm going to tap the left arrow five times. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to tap the right arrow five times. Is that enough visual space? Maybe not. So I'm going to click on this one again. One, two, three, four, five. Click on this one. One, two, three, four, five. And now I've created visual space between those two packages. And even one step further, if you want to explore some other things in the toolbox here, we have a line tool. I'm going to find the center. There it is. And notice it's showing me the top of Conestoga College there. I'm going to click, hold shift, and drag that to the bottom. And what is that? That is an empty line. How do I know? I look at the bottom of my toolbox. There's no color or no fill. So I'm going to click on the stroke in the background. Okay, again, this is advanced. A little bit more advanced. So it's up to you. I'm going to choose my swatch and make it that same red. Go back up to the black arrow. Click away to deselect it. Oh, that looks pretty good. I kind of like that visual separation there. And there's my newsletter. I've already saved as, so now I'm just going to hit Controller Command S to save it. And I now have my three items. And you're going to upload those to the, well, actually the next um, lesson will be how to save your documents for putting up on the portal. All right, and that's it for that one. You now have a newsletter.